morning, brothers and sisters. This is Chuck. Chuck's off the grid world. We're back to working on the RV again, the, the wiring system and the, the batteries and such. Uh, got this little update here. This is my my cooler box for my batteries that I built. Simple. Uh, what I'm doing now, I've got my two 200 amp hour lithium batteries. There's one here and one here. They're two different brands that shouldn't make any difference. They're still 200 amp hours each. I'm installing these right here, which, which are heating pads. Because well, I understand the lithium batteries, if they get under 32 degrees, you're not supposed to charge them. It can damage the battery. And so I believe this box here with the fact that the batteries will be used most of the time will generate enough heat not be a problem but these are designed to go on the hot water or on the water tanks of your RV to keep them freezing got 3M tape on this side what I'm going to do, they're 15 watts a piece um, I haven't been able to, I, I do have this one wired Temporarily, there's wire in there, one there, and it goes up to a switch up inside the RV. I'll show you the switch in a moment, but uh, um, I'm going to stick them, take them and stick them probably on the sides like this. One on this side and one on this side. So that uh, it will help heat the batteries if it's a problem. Now, what I understand about these is if they're in the on position, they will thermostatic thermostatically turn himself on and off now at what temperature I don't know I haven't been able to get him to come on because it's been too warm and this is my sending unit for a thermostat or thermometer inside the RV so I can watch it and see what the temperature is and I'll leave it probably sitting there with these on both sides let me show you the switch on the inside here just see understand what's going on here but, uh, okay now this switch is right here kind of dark and I don't know if you can see it or not but that's an on position that's an off position I had the switch already uh, it does have a light on I haven't wired the light up yet um, I'm not really happy it's not really sanit I don't like it being unsanitized when I'm saying that, I'm, what I mean is it doesn't look clean. It's not nothing to do about germs, but uh, it needs to be sanitized. Possibly replace it with another switch like this one here. That's that's a little cleaner looking, more sanitized. But uh, we got 13.4 volts right now, and we got uh, 1.8 amps coming in. It's kind of early in the day. I'm not getting a lot of sun coming in yet. Uh, this is uh, this right here. This one's the outside, so it's saying that that batteries are at 71 degrees right now. This is the inside. Well, I can sit here on my couch and watch that and make sure it doesn't get below 30 degree, 32 degrees. Now, if it does get below 32 degrees, what I can do? Got a plan for everything. Not a good plan, but a plan. This switch right here will turn them off. Solar power's off right now. I want to turn it back on. It's kind of in the way there, but uh, I just flip it back up and it's back on again. So I can just shut it down. But that's my plan. Let's see if it works. And then, of course, this will go back on there like that. And this goes back on there like that and turns into a a cooler so that's the plan um, if you have any questions about this plan give me a text or put in a comment or something I'll, I'll try to answer all questions and responses all right well thank you for watching hello again brothers and sisters I'd like to give a huge shout out to my friend with RV campfire RVer uh, he has lots of good tips on how to keep your RV going and uh, you might enjoy his channel so watch his channel
Campfire RVer is, is the name of the channel. Thank you for watching.